Re-establishing security. <laughs> Jensen! You asshole! You cost me my job! Slow down. What happened? What happened? They found out I let you into the morgue! That's what happened! They canned me! Wayne, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. Damn right I didn't. That's the second time you screwed me over. I know. And I want to make it up to you for everything you've been through. Seraph Industries lost a lot of good people in the last six months, and we could use someone like you. Oh, really? You're not saying that just to say it. Talk to HR. Tell them I recommend you. Corporate security pays more than being a cop, and you won't be stuck behind a desk. Jeez, I... Yeah. Okay. I need the work, but this better be on the level. It is. None of this is your fault, so let me make it right. Yeah. I just... I should sit down, you know? It's been a long week, and then all this crap... But, thanks. I mean it. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro. seen the footage, but that shit could be doctored easily. These people are probably freaking out for nothing. What if it's true? An army of cog soldiers? Detroit will be a police state in no time. Nazism, man, right here in the U.S. of A. Don't be a shit with the rest of us, man. Go to the hunt. Access granted. Who is a cult? They ain't a cult, man. They just believe in preserving what God gave. They don't care about causing millions of dollars in damage to the city. Okay, sweetheart? Always a pleasure. Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Taggart will know where he went. He 
You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court, in case you want to get chatty with him too. Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the... flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a... a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No! No time! The... they could be back. Any minute. Find the kit quickly. If you want... Answers. I ain't talking with without something to kill the pain, asshole. I ain't talking with without something to kill the pain, asshole. I'll be back. Did you find the kid? Oh, sweet Jesus. The pain. Morphine. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarif got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until, Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals. I think your boss pissed off the wrong people, trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Sarif had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't you don't know. Your parents, your your real parents. The tests, the fire. What are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak. Focus, Radford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. I'm leaving. But I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. 
I was turning around, pulling my gun when, when the first bullet hit me. The second one, they, they fucking pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a nine millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen, I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should, should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Is this what you really want? There's a bear pope in the woods. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot. If I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left. No one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. It'll be quick. I know. You... You did a good thing. Here. The ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron... G -g giant With a heart... G -g gold. B -b -b but don't do... Do it f for me. D -d do it... F for her. For... M -m 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 Michelle, you owe her here life. Access granted. Richard. I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. You have a new lead, at least? Yeah. I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more. Of course he is. 
I know Mr. Di uh, Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. Listen, believe me, we tried. The old man proved resilient. We left someone behind to watch him. If we need, we can go back. I'm not sure how much more he can take. That's why we need Smith.
Welcome to Lim International. Dr. Chetri, call 217. Dr. Chetri, call 217. Will you be purchasing anything today? Always a pleasure, sir. He's on stage now. This escalator has broken down this week. You think they would act <laughs> You don't have to get up at just because I don't agree. I hope you're just here to listen. Although Mr. Taggart is... Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Sarath and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. 
I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front, and you are our prime suspect. Don't try and make me look like the crook here. Seraph Industries was attacked six months ago, you can't deny that. And your people were involved. I've already publicly disavowed those actions, Mr. Jensen. How does that attack relate to the authenticity of this alleged proof of yours? Take your recording to the police. They will tell you it doesn't prove anything. You choose to believe otherwise because you yourself were caught off guard in that attack six months ago. Obviously, you have unresolved issues. What's it going to take for you to get over them and move on? I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now where is he? I want to help you, but I do have to draw a line. As you know, I was a practicing psychologist before I devoted my life to ending the threat of augmentation. And I've seen this kind of behavior before. You're confused. You consider me your enemy, and you think the only way you can regain control is to defeat me in some way. You're wrong, Fred. I have an idea, Taggart. Why don't I give my recording to that reporter down there? He has a machine that can prove it's real right now, once and for all. Of course, when he says it's genuine, I guess it'll be top news story for the next few weeks, and you can kiss your vote goodbye. On the other hand, if you talk to me backstage, I can hold on to this recording, and you can keep the benefit of the doubt for a little while longer. Very adroit, Mr. Jensen. Nicely played. I see you have me over a barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Just stay away from Mr. Taggart, and everything will be fine. You know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He. Mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I... I understand, but please try. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never
Come on, come on! Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB'er, Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy. Hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, you're a cop. Act like it. How are you gonna earn your stripes if you shit yourself under pressure like some wet-behind-the-ears rookie at the academy? Fuck. I... You're right. Damn it. I... I'm sorry. I... I lost my head. I'm still in the game, Adam. It won't happen again. You can trust me on this. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably gonna be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, and he wouldn't risk hanging around the bank or transit station. They've got those security cameras with facial recognition software. And the precinct is shut down thanks to the internal affairs investigation. That leaves the precinct alleys and sewers as the most probable places to find White. I'm going to get on the horn and update my CO. Can you check those two locations? And Jensen, be careful. White may have left booby traps lying around. He's like that, now that I think about it. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing.
and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah. I thought the police overreacted. Yeah. As soon as that one guy threw the rock, the cops broke their perimeter and charged. Touch with me is 
by online interactive streaming. We'll stream you through and answer your questions as best we can, but don't get your panties in a bunch if you get hung up on. If we detect even the slightest suspicious fluctuation in signal, we have to shut you down. The World Order and their team of expert hackers could be trying to track us. And that's why we have to create a covert host site for every new stream and then shut it down
Access granted. interactive stream. We'll stream you through and answer your questions as best we can. Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. No, I'm not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I... I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. 
forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through, but Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff, but Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam, then they started the fire. Poor things, they never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs, and you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensen's to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rolling Mills people gonna get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters. Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. And their masters mold the way we think. They spew their poison into your ears and you listen. You can no longer tell the difference between the truth and their lies. Access granted. Please, please don't kill me. 
Leave me alone! I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Oh, and it isn't much, but take this. The cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you take down a cop killer and you get a bounty and that sort of thing. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but I think you earned it. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit. I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. Nora 92, this is Central. Over. That code 10 I called in... Actually, gas ordinance. 